Good morning, everyone. My name is Nick from the company Tarko Mzanzi in Gauteng in South Africa. This is a piece of tar that we cut or asphalt that we cut out of a road to put in a speed hump. And I would like to demonstrate today how our rejuvenator works. Uh, solvent based rejuvenator, argument certified by the CSIR of South Africa. So a typical asphalt surface like this, you'll see there's a little bit of a crack going over there. The top of the surface is no longer ductile. It's no longer flexible. So when a car then depresses onto the surface, it's able to crack because it's no longer flexible. You'll see also that it's really just the top. If you have a look at this, the rest of the bitumen is still in perfect shape. It's really just the top that is dry. So what the rejuvenator does is it penetrates into the surface and it feeds the existing bitumen in the road. It's not a surface dressing that we put on top of the damaged surface because that would not give the flexibility back to the existing surface as it sits. So if we spray the rejuvenator, it penetrates and it then goes and it seals the entire top surface and it also penetrates and it feeds the asphaltines, maltines, paraffines in the existing road as it sits, which makes it flexible and ductile. For about four to six years, it will withstand the vehicle traffic again. So before we rejuvenate, we have to clean the surface of the road, take out any uh, embedded grime and dirt, any oil spots, um, any soiling of any sorts needs to be removed. So that's typically we would, when we place the rejuvenator, you can see how quickly it's going down. We would want to actually have it saturate in front of the roller so that it can access everywhere. All right, we're back. It's about 30 minutes after placement of the rejuvenator. And my hand is not vulcanized rubber, but even after 30 minutes, very little pickup. But I mean, that would not be able to transfer onto that, even if you try. So even if though it still looks wet, it isn't. The little puddle there that's obviously still wet, so if you step with your high heel shoes into that, it will make problems, but for the rest, it won't tread onto your driveway. Yeah. So, once again, you've got the, the grey area on top, and below the surface, everything is still nice and black. On the other hand, where we've rejuvenated, uh, this was in a, in a crack, so the rejuvenator went all the way down, it's still wet at the bottom there, went into the crack and it actually holds it together in time. This is just normal tap water. So first let's start on the unrejuvenated side. If we pour water on that, you'll see it goes into the surface. See how wide the strip gets if you were now to break this again you would see that the water is actually going all the way to the black bitumen and then it basically stops there all right once again just normal tap water this is now rejuvenated two and a half hours give or take let's see what happens because bitumen is hydrophobic the, all the water drains off the road so this little bit if a car now goes over that it doesn't go down. It will sit there until the sun takes it away. If you look back on this side, the water is still sitting there. You can add more water to that and it will still penetrate into the road. On this side, once again, if we add more water, it's 
So this is the rejuvenated side, obviously. It doesn't penetrate. When any micro cracks that's in the road would find bitumen like this, and it actually reseals the two surfaces together. Where on this side, the water is still going down. Good runoff. Let me kind of try to show you if I pour it from the rejuvenated side over onto. See how it drains off? And on this one, it's still penetrating. Look at that. Still going down. This will seep through the, bit, the asphalt surface before it actually finds a way off the road. All right, let's give this surface a good whack. Get, see, once again, there's no bitumen coming off. Even if I wipe over this, that little puddle will now stay there. It will not, the water will not go down in the road. All right, let's give this a good whack and see what happened. It's completely black from the top all the way through to the bottom. The rejuvenator has gone completely into the surface. 